We're gonna do legacy maps. Uh, first, we're doing. We're gonna go right into the Hitman Two. I've, I've played Hitman One a bunch of times, so I'm gonna go right into the second game. I've only played through it once. Let's see. Story. Hitman Two. to uh, Night Call. <laughs> Smuggled item. Garbage container. Flash phone. Finding anyone nearby. Ooh. Proximity laser. <laughs> the duck. I love the duck. Concussion collector's duck. Looks great. Wait, story. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Professional. Oh, master. Um. Oh my, there's a master difficulty? Ooh. Only one save per mission. That's bad. One save is like... Bloody eliminations ruin disguises. Mm. Well, the thing is, it's more challenging, but... Yeah, well, I think we'll do professionals. I think it makes for better streams because otherwise I'll have to repeat the same parts again and again and again for certain sections. It's my baby. The story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything.
Alma Reynard's house is just up the beach. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. Hmm. It's beautiful up here. This is a gorgeous house, but I'd worry one about hurricanes. And two, you seem really, really far from other people. How do you get a pizza delivered? I mean, how do you get a pizza? I guess if you're this rich, you can just hire like a security team and oop. I've been recorded by security. Oh. How do I pull up my? There we go. Good aim. <laughs> now, according to the local home security provider, the house is equipped with multiple cameras placed around the perimeter. I suggest you get rid of them, 47. I'll try. I wish I looked good in a tight suit like this. 47 looks fabulous. I don't know how he blends in, because if I see a man with a barcode on the back of his head, that's going to stick out like nothing else. No cars. They could be out. Could be lying low. The satellite scans were inconclusive. Only one way to find out, I'm afraid. Um. Missing the necessary component to complete this action. Well, okay then. Fiber wire, coin. H for holster. Okay. Diana's voice is wonderful. It's one thing that is like a staple to the series. And then, I think it was Blood Money. They did. They did um, for the first time the. Yeah, that song and now that's like the staple song of the series as well the water looks nice what do we got screwdriver yeah Pick it. Well, if I can't. Can I get in this way? Oh, I don't have a lockpick. <laughs> well, I saw another way up in there. Short circuit. Oh, there, that'll work. Okay, never mind. We're at. What is that? Uh oh. Bodies, male and female, early thirties, executed. I see them. Uh -oh. <sighs> Poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork. All right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. 
The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. I don't think I can put that away. Whoops. Oh, I didn't need that. <laughs> Masks. Rope. Chloroform. Chloroform. Looks like another kidnapping. I wouldn't put it past them. The Shadow Client is nothing if not industrious. Why is he doing this? Clearly, he has an axe to grind with Providence. Big enough to surround himself with murderers and terrorists. Big enough not to care who gets hurt in the process. He believes he's doing the right thing, I suppose. Just like everyone else. Statement early next week. Teen fans are barely out of their home period. But today... Whoa. It's a massive TV projector. A little more private with the windows shut. What? Uh, Kiora, uh, Ari from Kiwi Repair here. Uh, don't know when you folks are back in town. Give me a call so I can swing by and uh, fix that pesky bathroom ventilation system for you. I can't have the whole house smelling a nail polish now, can we? <laughs> Hmm. That's Ari, the repair guy. So, he sounds like Dan Chat. <laughs> hey, it's me, nerdy guy. Look, give me a call when you want to repair. Scissors. Hello. I'll take all of these things. Ooh, rat poison. So many tools. Overflow the sink. That's just rude. It's nice this mission. We have all this time to look around. Find evidence. Tools. Poison sugar. Poison honey. Good. Rich people wine. Militia operations report. Found something. Looks like research reports. Berlin, Shanghai. Every major militia strike since Thomas Cross's kidnapping. Looks like Reynard had a hand in all of them. All in the past, I'm afraid. Keep looking, 47. How do I clean the cover? Um, well, no oh, it's space. Authorities believe these politically motivated killings are the work of highly trained mercenaries. In Japan, Kronstadt Industries much hailed. All right, see what's that here? Nothing. Just beautiful, rich people place. Oh my God! Look at this patio. Can you imagine just like lying here every day on a sunny day, looking at the sea? Ah, oh, rich people. This view is gorgeous. Lyndon has bodyguard. I don't think that would work out very well. Fire poker. Yeah, it would be scary during storms here, for sure. Po 
poison panic room ventilator. Ooh. So that's one way we can take them out. Poison the ventilator room when they panic. Alright, let's look around the top floor for some more stuff. What a sh what a shithole who would want to live there? You know this house is probably multiple millions of dollars. Even if you don't want to live here, you can just sell it for someone else. Let's close these blinds for later, in case we get disturbed. Poison glass of whiskey. File on Found Dynasty something. Global. A file on Rupert Pierce, founder of Dynasty Global. Squeaky the world's toy. largest internet retailer. Hmm. If Pierce is a Providence operative, yeah. he's likely on the Shadow Client's hit list. But it's not what we came for. Keep looking, 47. Why would you want that right beside your bed? Like, looking at, like, ew. Can you imagine? Like, what the hell? Ooh, bathroom. What's in the bathroom? Unlock cabinet. I don't have a lockpick. Okay, uh, well, now I got a good layout of the house. It's walk-in closet. Another side room. Okay. Let's start looking for the goods. Interact hidden mechanism. Ooh. A bust. Destroy camera evidence. Boom. Nicely done, 40. Like I was never here. Should allow you to move more freely. Password here we dongle. Go. For the office computer, no doubt. Oh my. Shrieking katana. Covert gun. Hmm. Appears Reynard's cell is launching another strike. Those are sewer maps of a residential area in Wellington. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Our priority is the Shadow Client. The Shadow Client. <sighs> well, I'm going to take some of these with me. Cause you never know we're gonna need one of these, right? <laughs> okay, that, that one is hard to... There's so many weapons. Okay, I think I can just magically hold all of the guns except for the big ones. Because magic. Oh, it goes down here. Okay, let's close this up. So they don't know I was here. Wrench. 
take the rich. Oh, wait, there's no way back through there. Okay. Okay, we'll drop that right there. Oh, walker. Can open these now. Folding knife, already have one. Oh, more poison. Uh, expired can of spaghetti sauce. <laughs> That one too. You never know when we'll need these unlocked later. And I get XP for them. Alright, let's go get the uh, our XP. I don't, they're not like, wait, what the hell? Tap, 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 tap. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynards. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Uh -oh. Multiple hostiles. Oh, shit, chat. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage 247. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. Oh, there's a dog. Okay, well, um, I have to kill that lady. Uh oh. Jared, terrace all clear. Copy that. Go sweep up the upstairs where you at. I knew you were gonna say that. Oh no, not the upstairs. So, uh, you gonna tell me who it was we just kidnapped? House guests of the PM. The wife and two daughters of one Lance Donovan. Don't sweep the upstairs. The online retailer? Uh-huh. Donovan is back in London. He should receive the pictures as we speak. Ah, uh, black man. Donovan's boss, Danny Paul CEO, Hubert Pierce, is a Uh-oh. We can't get near him, so... We need to sneak around quickly. Uh -oh. Okay, we gotta find our way around. That's up right there. Let's see, I should 
Actually, what's in here? Lethal poison. Ooh. And cannabis joint. Oh, yeah. Got some weed. Nice. Okay, there should be a quick save button. Maybe. Maybe not. I guess there isn't one, so I just have to manually save. Oh, we have we have it on um, the mode where we can save as much as we want, because otherwise that gets to be a little bit annoying. Watching, we have to watch the same what section again and again and again. You heard me, Mr. Donovan. The life of your boss, or the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Ooh. Do you understand me? Very good. Now, go. If I don't hear sirens from downtown London in five minutes, your family suffers the consequences. Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. We thank you for your sacrifice. Is it done? Who does? And Mr. Donovan's wife and children? The guys will let them go at the stroke of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss's orders. You know how squeamish he gets about collateral damage. What a... Ugh. Unbelievable. She's very... I'm gonna turn in. You coming or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, what, what? That's, that means this way. Yeah, we could poison her drink if we want. Gotta figure out a fun way to kill her. Some way to make it look like an accident. Gerard, we're... Did the audio break? Maybe she slipped on a bullet? Let's see. We can get a couple of... of hints from here. Let's see. Assassinate by poisoning the ventilation system. Assassinate by poisoning her tea. Smother with pillow while she's sleeping. <laughs> oh, man. While she's in pain. Poisoning the ventilation system. Well, we know where the ventilation system is. It's for the uh, panic room, though. So we gotta get her to panic. But we could also smother while she's sleeping with a pillow. Okay, that guy's gonna be a problem. Could you, like, look away, sir? Okay, apparently he has very bad vision. Okay. I think we'll smother her in her sleep. You know, as you do. Dun, dun, dun. 
That guy was blind as hell. Oh, hello. Who showers with a jock strap on, by the way? When are you shipping out again? Say, say what? I said, when are you shipping out again? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm supposed to rendezvous with the team in Riga, like five days from now. <laughs> I've got no idea what the mission is or who my teammates are. Like, all this secrecy is starting to get on my nerves. Uh -huh. You know the boss. Belt and suspenders kind of guy. Well, I don't. And neither do you. That's kind of my, uh, that's kind of my point. Call me old fashioned, but like I say, uh, I like to know who I'm risking my life. You know why? The rest are details. I think all of this is just a few. Let's see. Let's see. Meanwhile, the team stands by. I don't even know who I am. Let's open the blinds back up, I think. Actually, no, we want them closed. House keys. Ooh. Mine now. Glass of whiskey. Wait, do I have a sedative? A medic. That'll make him vomit. Chloroform flask. Put it in his whiskey. It'll make him pass out. So that way we. <laughs> Does this taste like chloroform to you? <laughs> uh oh. He was like, question mark. Uh-oh. 52 month reset from you say booya. Thank you. updated as this story develops. I am Pam Kingsley. He's working GM out. News. Nice. Wait a minute. He just took a shower. Why didn't he, wouldn't he work out first? <laughs> Door casually opening. Poor Batman. Good for the blood flow. Oh, yeah. Oh. Just chilling. Okay, hopefully she goes to bed. And then we're gonna suffocate her. That reminds me. I need you to do something for me. Okay. Uh -oh. What's the gig? It's a cakewalk, really. I just need you and the boys to pick up a shipment in Brussels three days from now. Brussels. A truckload of cutting edge Kronstadt Industries military hardware. Chat. Drones and shit. You'll get a kick out of it, I promise. Well shit, then you write that really down. Are defecting. High level Providence stooges like them? That's a real feather in your cap. So why aren't you the one doing the honors? See, there's just a teensy possibility that it could be a trap. And if it is, well, I'm too important to risk. Wow. Don't start. No, no, I get it. Everyone's expendable, but some are more expendable than others. Is that it? I wouldn't put it on a t-shirt, but, well, yeah. In a nutshell. Fine, I'll do it. I know you can hold your own and all that, but I want you to be safe, Alma. I mean, I'd hate it if... Uh, geez, it's chilly out here. Hey, any sign of Max? No, ma'am. But one of the lads found a bunch of dead sheep down the road. Max strikes again. Oh, well. As long as he's happy. Is he drinking his... Oh, he's drinking the whiskey. Good. He's gonna... That's a sedative. He's gonna be very sleepy. <laughs> Whoops. Code red! 
This is a code fucking red. This oh. is what happens when you get comfortable, people. Uh oh. Okay, she's not gonna go to bed. Uh oh. Uh oh. See, there's a code fucking red, people. Chat, there's a code fucking red. We gotta go. All right, you're all right. Okay, let's make a backup save just in case it doesn't work. Okay, she's panicking, so she's in the panic room. So that means if we can get to the roof. Alma's old safe house. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Something like that. Hmm. But actually, this is Alma's old safe house from her Bonnie hmm. and Clyde days with Sean Rose. Huh. Guess left wing terrorism pays better than you think. Yeah, that or she shot the owner. Still, I've got to say, this is a swanky place to lay low. It's got a house AI, a voice control, and everything. Kick-ass security system, too. Of course, how did you never turn it off? I got apparently so big, the sensor is trying to mess it true. Now, why don't just lock him in the garage? <laughs> Force him to drive that. And, uh, well, Max ate the tires on his SUV and half the bicycle. No, Max doesn't like everything. Well, they do say pets take after their own. Wait a minute. She's not in her panic room. Where the hell is she? I thought she was gonna go to her panic room, but she's apparently not in there. Let's go find out where the hell she is. It looks like she's in the kitchen. No, she... Wait a minute. Is she back in the bedroom? Just sleeping? Oh, she went to bed. <laughs> what the fuck? Did she just put his ass in bed? <laughs> Target down. Play challenges, you increase your master level. Could list my challenges on the menu. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Good. Good. Target eliminated. And no one knows any differently. Jump over the edge. Ooh. I can't jump over. Damn. Dun, 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 dun. I guess that chloroform doesn't last very long.
must have been the wind. over there. guys hanging out on that boat. The Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. Damn it. Pass them unnoticed. I suggest you cause a distraction, 47, and make it a loud one. Ooh. Get them, boys. <laughs> Saw red barrel. Red barrels mean explode. Okay, this punk over here though. Not leaving like the others. Tight noise. <laughs> Silent assassin. Easy. Easy. Hell yeah. There are six missions, but you can play them many times. There's lots of different targets each time. These you get like six giant sandboxy maps.
Well, it's official. New Zealand paid off. The client has given us carte blanche. Hunt down the militia by any means necessary. A week ago, Providence was a threat. How did you swing the board? The board are practical people, 47. A blank check is hard to turn down. Besides, the Shadow Client's war on Providence is causing a global panic. Someone will need to stop the militia. Might as well be us. And the man on the train? You never told them about his offer. Taking a contract for personal gain is against ICA regulations. Sodas would have been proud. Is that a sense of humor, 47? Whatever next, crying at the movies? Why are you doing this? I know what it's like to have everything taken from you. He claims to know about your past. Your childhood, your memories, everything Ortmeier stole from you. And you trust him? About as far as I can throw him. But this is our best lead in 20 years. I say it's time we break a few rules. Break rules? Wasn't I in the... <laughs> okay, story. Hitman 2. The finish line. Let's see. Sealed weapon. I'll need a weapon. And do without a weapon. Florida fit. Fiber wire. Smuggled Island. The Stan's Toilet. Let's get a lockpick in there. Okay, I have to use the bathroom real fast, guys. We'll be back in one second.
Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowoon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowoon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. America. Why, hello, everybody. There's a lot of people in here. Ooh, press outfit. Do I have a VIP? There's a big crown there. Well, this is before social distancing and stuff. This is what the way we used to live. Well, let's get a little idea of some of the challenges. Let's see. Assassinate a target by drowning them. The man see assassinate Robert Fox with the fish trophy. <laughs> Um, assassinate Sarah Knox by blowing her car up during the race. Assassinate Robert Knox by poisoning his eye drops. <laughs> Hot shot redacted. Explosive liaison. Better burn up than fade away. Assassinate uh, Sarah by podium pyrotechnics. <laughs> Assassinate Robert Knox with the shark in the aquarium. Oh, man. Uh, Assassinate Robert Knox explosion from the cops that demo vehicle. Oh my. Thank you, sir. I will uh, take that piece of information. Looking good, man. Looking good. Well, thank you. Sir, if you want to come through, I'm going to have to pat you down. Oh, baby, do your worst. Come on. This will just take a sec, sir. Get in there. Don't leave me hanging, son. You're going to do it. You do it well. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, if you're gonna do something, at least do it real well. Photo of Flamingo. Soda can. Oh my gosh, so many people. No masks. <laughs> Well, let's look around here. Look at those lap times. I guess he's out to show Matthias Schuster who's number one. Ooh, lock pick. Nice. I got my tool. That is gross, chat. Oh my god. Ugh. Gross. This isn't a this isn't a real uh racing car track because that that would have a line out the door very damn gross oh my god hot dogs
six dollars for a hot dog? Ten dollars for a chili dog? What the? Ten dollars for a chili dog? What the fuck? Free drink? I know you get a free drink. I could buy a two liter of Coke for that. Look around. Oh, hello there. Newcomers to endurance racing, let me remind you that this is different from Grand Prix in that it's all about which Um, chat, I see a possible disguise over. That's the name of the game. This is where you see the car technology of tomorrow. Much appreciated. Listen, Miller, I don't care about your problems, all right? I made it clear this morning that if things didn't change, I'd be off the Kronstadt team. Half an hour later, I would listen to Knox berate my skills as a mechanic because the roll cage interferes with the radio signals from Sierra Suit. No more. It doesn't matter. Yes, I know what you're a short now. And no, I don't give a rat's ass about it. Speed up my salary for the entire week, and I'll come back in case Sierra decides to use that last pit stop. Mm -hmm. Well, if you decide otherwise, I'll be down by the path. Best of luck, Grace. Hello there. Ew. 